You know, I'm, I'm, I was scared for her. My stomach dropped, you know, I, like, I teared up. It, it hit hard, and it, and it hit hard because it literally could have been any of us. Brianne January and Kayla McBride have played with and against Griner over the last decade, both at home and abroad. We are constantly coming into different countries, and, you know, we're here by ourselves, and it just brings us back to, you know, why she was in that situation. Can you talk a little bit about why so many WNBA players do play overseas in the offseason? It comes with playing professional women's basketball, just supplement income. That's the hardest thing to think about, is that she feels like she has to still be over here. We're talking about Brittany Griner. Like... Exactly. We're talking about BG. We're talking about, you know, like, all-star, you know, USA, gold Olympians. Like, it's just, it's crazy to think that she feels like she still has to go over there. This all could have been avoided if we could stay home and make a living in the W. Slam dunk Brittany Griner. The average WNBA player makes about $120,000 a year in a career that only lasts a few years. Playing abroad lets them make the most of their earning potential. Griner is a top talent, earning the WNBA's max salary of $228,000. But UMMC Ekaterinburg, where she's played since 2014, reportedly pays her $1 million a year. She was arrested while returning to Russia to play.